my name is Tech and today I'm going to show you step by step on how to sell on eBay. First we're going to go over how to set up eBay and how to sell PayPal. Those are two things you need to get started. What I'm going to do today is show you step by step how to list iPhone 4 on eBay. Since I already need it, it's a good thing to sell. So why don't we get started, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set up eBay account if you don't already have one. Go ahead and to your address bar, type in www.ebay.com and if you're already a member just go ahead and sign in if you're not go ahead and click on register on your left corner of your screen fill out your information first name last name email address ebay user id password and confirm password we'll also give you an option whether to select one a personal account or business account go ahead and click on personal account we're gonna worry about the business account later just fill in the information that it asks you we're not gonna go details but uh, I'm sure you can handle it tip we want to set up a PayPal account if you don't already have one go ahead and type in www.paypal.com sign in if you're already a member if not go ahead and click on business or personal and click sign up it will give us an option whether we want to sign up for a personal or business account uh, what we want to do is actually if we're going to be selling quite a lot we want to create a business account because there's no limitations on how much money we can receive or send so go ahead and click on get started on whichever account you prefer you can always upgrade later but in this case we're going to show you the business account the most popular one is standard it costs you zero to sign up and has pretty much no limits has some options for events you can pay and you have more options whether it's how you want to receive money but we're gonna get with this with a standard just go ahead and click on get started I'm not gonna go over the full details but just follow the on-screen instructions and I'm sure you'll be fine so on the next screen all you gotta do is create a click on the create new account your account fill in your information choose the choose what kind of business you are I'm going to click individual email address password all the information it will also need your checking account so that way you can link your checking account to your PayPal account this this is how you're going to transfer money from PayPal to your checking account once you set up PayPal account and PayPal account we can go ahead to the next step and taking the pictures so the next step, we want to take the item we're going to be selling, in this case the iPhone, and put it in my back background so it's easier to take photos of. Can take out of the box, make sure it's on. It's been before, so it's way inside the door. The box, so this way. Okay. Once we have that, we can take our camera. And we're going to start taking photos. Here's the general. It's the way we have everything on it. Then we're going to do details of that phone. So this is, we're going to take a few photos from every side. Back as well. Okay, and we're done. Next step, we're gonna upload that to the over to the computer. Now that we have created pictures, we can go ahead and list it. I already created a listing just so we can save time on this video. Uh, this is pretty much how it looked like. We have photos of details of of the iPhone. When you scroll down, you will see we have our uh, eBay provide information about the phone and our listing, our title, product details, item condition, what's included, what's not included, shipping details, 
return policy and payment accepted. Let me show you how I did this. Since we are selling iPhone 4, we want to search it first. So let's go ahead and type in iPhone 4 and click on search. That will give us listings of other iPhones that other people are selling. Let's refine the search so ex we can see exactly what we're selling. Let's go to carrier, select AT&T, R16 gigabytes and color white. Let's go click on update results. So that will refine our search. Because we are selling used iPhone, let's go under uh, conditions and select used. That will refine our search one more time. Now that we have refined the, the search, what we want to do is find out how much iPhones like ours sell for. So let's go under their show only on the left side. Let's click on sold listings. This will show us um, iPhones that already have sold. So let's look at, for example, between the two here for 160 to 50 and 220. Uh, since our, our iPhone is not in perfect condition, let's go ahead and click on the iPhone 4 for 162 to 50. This is probably that's what we're going to be selling. Under the photo of it, you'll see you can sell one like this. Let's go and click on it since we're going to be selling similar item. This page will tell us all the details. Uh, it's already pre-filled most of the way. Now you can see that eBay already has filled in a lot of information for us regarding the manufacturer's specs. Okay, for the title, we're going to change it a little bit. It already has pre-filled, but we want to take out the number since nobody really searches by the number. On the conditions, we're going to select use since they're used. If you have, for, if it's not working, select for parts, but R is used. For condition description, we're going to put in, uh, let's see, tested in working condition. So we're going to provide uh, detailed information later on. Items, let's add item specifics. This is without a contract. OS is going to be iOS Apple. Let's select the features that we know. If you don't know it, just don't check it. If you know it, go ahead and check it. We know that it has all of those, so we're going to check it. Comes with a case, so let's go ahead and click on case and screen protectors. So you know what, let's uncheck the screen protectors since we're going to know that somebody's going to have to uh, take it out. Well, let's leave the case in. For country, manufacturer, we can put a no. I'm not sure where it's really made, so let's leave it actually blank. It comes already with a stock photo from you, but we're going to delete it since we have our own photos. So let's go ahead and click on add edit photos, click select photos, go to our folder where our photos are located. Let's magnify it a little bit. So we're going to highlight all the photos we just took, open them. So it's going to load our photos in. So the photos are loading. Let me take a second. All right, we can see that some of the photos are a little dark, so why don't we go ahead and uh, brighten them a little. The first photo is a main photo, so let's uh, brighten it a little bit. You can uh, crop it, rotate, but we're going to adjust the contrast on it. So let's brighten it, add a little contrast, click the apply. That's much better. Upload. And depending on your internet speed, it will take a while to uh, upload depends how big are the files and uh, your internet connection okay the photos are taking longer than I expected and I'm precious on time so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it out but normally the photos will load and you will see them in the listing so let's go ahead and cancel off now okay scroll down a little bit let's add a description I create a little cheat sheet in Microsoft Office sort of a template that I use for eBay. It has our uh, title, product details, provides information from the manufacturer, 
atom condition this atom is used was tested and appears to be working correctly I listed of what I tested what condition the phone is in and what's included be truthful and provide as much information as possible so make sure you provide as much information about the phone cosmetic uh, if there's any cosmetic uh, cracks scratches or anything like that also what's included possible and then on the bottom I'm gonna list all this uh, accessories that are included so in this case we have the iPhone 4 16 gigabytes wide that's included USB cable AC adapter iPhone case at t smart card original box what's not included are headphones documentations anything not listed above just in case I miss something I want to make sure I'm covered and I also listed of what's included above in item condition after our iPhone information we're gonna put in shipping details uh, also because it's expensive I'm gonna put in uh, information that I require a signature over $75 because I want to make sure it gets to the, per the right person we're gonna create a return policy and payment type we accept as well as how fast I want to get my payment which is three days after end of auction and eBay only accepts PayPal so PayPal is what we're gonna do now what we want to do is highlight everything copy go back to our eBay page and click on paste under standard tab so this is what our listings gonna look like you can have listing designer if you want to to make your page a little prettier it will cost you 10 cents and you can uh, select from various of our teams but in my case I'm not a fan of it so I'm gonna uncheck it uh, you can put in a counter your call what kind of counter if you want to have it hidden or not next we're gonna choose whether we want a fixed price or auction uh, we're gonna sell auction because I know we will sell well so we're gonna start in a price of 99 cents and buy it now for 159.95 quantity is gonna be one duration you can change between one three five seven ten I like three days three and five days are more popular I'm gonna go with three days for private listings I'm gonna leave it alone that's if you want to hide the buyers identity make sure the PayPal is checked and you put in your uh, PayPal email address that you created earlier and require pay immediate payment when the buyer, uh, buyer uses buy it now uh, there's also pick up pay on pickup I accept that offer but I'm not gonna check it next you have uh, shipping details let's go calculate it you can if it's something really heavy you can put in a freight or no shipping local pickup only but since it's slide we're gonna ship it let's go uh, calculate it some information is pre-filled uh, on the bottom you see you can put in what kind of size of the box and the weight if you know it so we're gonna use priority mail shipping because we want to make sure that it gets there fast or you can put in free shipping but it's your choice uh, because I know how much it weights and uh, how much about how much it's gonna cost to ship we're gonna put in fl uh, flat automatically that means this is the price I'm gonna charge for shipping I'm gonna charge 9.95 and it's gonna probably cost more than 10 bucks because I'm gonna include insurance and uh, signature required but I'm gonna cover the rest just to be fair to the bidders I'm gonna sell globally the information is gonna stay there about uh, how big is the package but it's not really important uh, next we're gonna put in uh, buy requirements sales tax we're gonna leave it blank because I don't have a license to charge sales tax and return policy I'm gonna accept uh, returns 14 days you can do more than 14 days but 14 is standard and uh, we're gonna create money back because I don't have a replacement uh, return shipping will be paid by buyer because I don't want to pay for shipping return shipping and do you want to charge restocking fee I'm gonna say no and you can see our fees are 25 cents let's click continue Now on the top you get our attention sellers, protect your personal information. Please remember to delete all data of your device before you ship it. So make sure you clear it first. This is, you have extra options if you want to, but you gotta pay for it. Right now our total fees are 25 cents because we use buy it now. 
So where the ship, if you click on the list item, you'll be all set. Since, since I already created the listing, so this is what it looks like. Once it's done, so go over it, make sure everything looks good. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed it.